it's time for you all to wake up and shift your paradigm. This world is the kingdom of darkness and we are living in its last days. It won't be long before the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat and the earth and everything therein shall be burnt up. The Luciferian elite have been setting up the new world order and now they've established the globalist beast system for the rise of that wicked one and revealing of the man of sin who comes after the workings of Satan. Don't take my word for it. Read the Bible and you'll know that perilous times shall come in the last days and we are in the last days. and sisters it is the remnant warrior here from kingdom productions and publishing and i just want to welcome all of you who don't already watch this channel on a regular basis i want to let you know that we upload new content several times a week but at least every week so you don't want to miss out when we upload something new. Thank you all in advance for your subscription. I love each and every one of you. Until next time, God bless you all. The U.S. Occupy protesters have descended on a quiet California Redwood retreat, where some of the world's elite gather every year. Demonstrators say the two weeks, officially portrayed as a time of rest and relaxation, is really a chance to discuss plans for the world's future. Straight from the San Francisco airport, I headed to Monte Rio, a city with beautiful redwoods and picturesque coastlines. The perfect getaway for the world's rich and powerful, and in fact, every year, CEOs, media moguls, and high-level politicians flock here to the Bohemian Grove's secluded campout. Their motto here is that weaving spiders come not here, which they claim means there's no business discussions, it's just a vacation from the wealthy men. Activist has a rare Grove yearbook issued every decade, showing everything from men in drag to high-profile politicians giving speeches. The book shows George W. Bush and his father giving lakeside talks, along with Presidents Jimmy Carter and Richard Nixon. Others who have attended are David Brooks of the New York Times, along with CEOs from CNN and Fox, Jimmy Buffett, David Rockefeller, and Henry Kissinger. Also has an official 2005 membership list of Grove attendees. Your typical warmongers, George Bush Sr., Colin Powell, Richard Pearl. We know what you're doing. We know what goes on in here. An event with so little transparency has bred theories, some of them pretty wild, about what goes on on the inside, especially at the cremation of care ritual, where Grove members burn a coffin effigy to a 40-foot owl. The podcast, Have you, you ever seen the Bohemian Grove footage <laughs> where Alex Jones filmed all these yeah, elites yeah. dressing up like druids and worshiping the owl god Moloch? That's real, dude. I they know. really do that. I know. They I do that. But what do you, what do you, I roll with the I roll really in that the, Don't the, you the Illuminati doesn't Brian, control the world because Brian. nobody's that organized. Well, maybe they're not, but did there you, you ever see there that Bohemian Grove thing? That is absolutely 100% so real. No, no, it's not so what, Brian? It's people dressing up like wizards but saying some it's sacred weird, dude. ritual, I mean, they control it's burning, weird, burning, burning an effigy yeah. in front of an owl Same god. Same with Burning Man. Bro, this is so different than Burning Man. It's the government. It's people at the highest the levels government. of banks. It's all these different famous people. There's a bunch of crazy, really rich, influential people that went to that Bohemian Grove and dressed up like druids and they chanted things. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Yes. Yeah, Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? 
I frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open. We got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. I'll tell you a couple of stories about fraud. The Bohemian Club. As you say, the Bohemian Club, that's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against Redwood Ridge, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go and be good for you. Get some fresh air. What's this picture of? I actually don't remember. See you at the Bohemian Grove. You told me that uh, I'm delusional. You know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives that fantasy. have nothing to touch with. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. So you were there. Can we talk to you about it, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, first question. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, you gave a keynote speech at the Bohemian Grove Club, sir. A club which openly has mock child sacrifices and satanic worship, sir. Can you answer my question, sir, please? I was very pleased. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. It was a good debate. Uh, what about the Bohemian Grove Club, though, sir? Uh, That's very important. They, they do mock human sacrifices there, so you reported being I was, there. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. So why did you ignore my question, sir? Can we have an open dialogue? It. If you want to be president, let's have an open dialogue about it. You just ignored me, sir. It was the night of July 15th, 2000. Mike Hansen and I were about to attempt the first ever successful infiltration of the Bohemian Grove. Others have tried and failed. No one has ever actually made it in and out with video evidence. After careful planning, we decided the best tactic would be to insert ourselves about a half mile from the main entrance into the heavily wooded area entering the gorge by stealth and getting into the main parking area. From there, we posed as Bohemian Club members, thus entering the inner sanctums of the New World Order. After landing in San Francisco at the International Airport, we traveled through the city, across the Golden Gate Bridge, into deeper northern California. From there north to Santa Rosa, going west on Highway 12, the gateway to Bohemian Grove. Well, here we are, folks. Turning on to the Bohemian Highway and Bohemian Grove. We're going to find out what in the New World Order is going on here. Uh, there's a guard gate right over the, a small guard gate, and then back further, an even more elaborate guard gate with surveillance cameras, you name it. Not a through road, ladies and gentlemen, right up here in Northern California. What do you think about Bohemian Grove? I used to work there. You used to work there? Yeah. And now you work at Camp Meeker? No, I don't work. I live in Camp Meeker. Oh, you live there? Yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, did you ever watch The Cremation of Care? Um, no. No. What'd you do at the... I just I just worked there. But, I mean, yeah. you, you never saw him march around in the red robes? And no, that? no. Oh, really? That doesn't go on. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We always hear there's like big, fat, rich guys with prostitutes there. Really? Yeah. What fun. about the what about the owl and the rituals? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Never heard about the rituals? Rituals. Uh, Ritual of killing of a human sacrifice of a human? No. Nope. Never heard what of it. What would you think if that was going on? I think it was pretty weird. Wouldn't be that surprised. I mean, it is our government after all. What did you do, work there? Or worked here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful area? Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. Uh, it's well, got big trees. Have you ever been there for the cremation but, of care? No. So you've never been there for the rituals? No. You ever heard about them? Yes. What have you heard they do, sir? Nothing. they got that tree that looks like an owl. Tree that looks like an owl? A tree or rock, or it's, it's a carving, or... It's where the stage is. But have you heard what they do during that? During the? No, I have no idea what they do. During what would that. you say if we told you they they burn a human being in effigy? They don't really do it. They burn it in effigy. For, I don't know what that means. Well, they have like a dummy that looks like a person under a black blanket. Huh? They take it up there and burn it. No, oh, I don't know. Pretty weird. Huh? Pretty weird. Yeah, I've never seen that. 
Here's just one of many signs sporting French with skulls adorned with other trappings of death. We also saw signage with Latin and other ancient languages. Here you can see the bottom of the stone owl with the altar and the eternal flame, a Aladdin lamp style urn that continually burns year around, we're told. Keep in mind the scale of the idol compared to those giant redwood trees. It's at least 45 feet tall. This is America, and it's been going on for 120 plus years in Northern California. This is not some new fad. We're talking about something deadly serious with its roots in ancient history. One of the Sonoma County Sheriff's deputies showed up and began asking us why we were filming. We calmly told him we were just sightseeing as members of the Bohemian Club. The point that has to be made here though is they do have hidden cameras. After escaping the Sheriff's Department, Mike and I traveled high into the hills to wait until dark in the beginning of the cremation of care ceremony. Before the cremation of care, all the Bohemian Club members begin a massive feast of revelry. <laughs> He's so pissed off at me. After the feast, cult members travel from the main dining area under the trees out to the eastern side of the lake where they congregate and prepare themselves to properly thank their deity. Again, the 3,000 plus year old Molech. The occult activities are coming up. And then after the actual ritual, we're gonna give you some more of the history surrounding it. But first off, I wanted to draw your attention to the program that was given out to the spectators or the viewers. I guess an occultist would call them novices uh, who actually watched as the priest uh, and their supporters engaged in this ancient rite. Now you're looking at a little demon called PJ that was on the front of the actual program. It's kind of an Hieronymus Bosch style. He's got a little broom and a dustpan and he's sweeping something up. Now even more shocking is the figure of a human body burning in the flames. In fact, I've shown it uh, to people that are experts in anatomy, to actual doctors, and they say that the anatomical size is that of a baby or small child. Notice how large the cranium is in comparison to the torso, that is the ribs. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, this is from the program itself given out to the establishment lackeys witnessing the sinister activities. Remember, in Babylon and Tyre, they would throw their children into fiery pits. Look at the size of the hands compared to the rest of the body. Only children show these anatomical detail. And long last, here it is, the cremation of care unveiled. <laughs> Up. 
as we sat there in the darkness, not knowing what we were about to see in the gathering crowd, suddenly across the small lake, we saw a carriage with men in black and brown cloaks, robes in front and in back, bearing a bound body. Remember, it was a hidden camera and at somewhat of an angle. Something particularly pleasing was happening for the Bohemian Grovers with whatever developed with that crowd uh, of men in black and brown and the bound body on the back of the buggy. They drove behind big black tarps they had hanging out of the trees. There was lots of smacking on lips of in, in bizarre enjoyment by the crowd. We still haven't made out exactly what was going on, but that a real sacrifice may have actually been developing according to some occult experts. All the time in the darkness across the small lake, uh, the men in black were doing something behind the dark curtains hanging from the redwood trees. And after about 10 more minutes of music, suddenly all around the owl activity began. Here is the main central part of the ritual. The owl is in his leafy temple. Let all within the grove be reverent before him. Lift up your heads, O ye trees, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting spires. For behold, here is Bohemian shrine, and holy are the pillars of this house. But 
The wilding rose blows on the broken battle with tire, and walk rend the stones of Babylon. For beauty is eternal, and we bow to beauty everlasting. For lasting happiness, return to one alone, and she surrounds you now, great nature, refuge of the weary heart, and only balm for breasts that have been bruised. She has cool hands for every favorite brow, and gentlest silence for the troubled soul. The tonsils are most wide. She healeth well, having such ministries as calm and sleep. She is ever faithful. Other friends may fail, but seek ye her in any quiet place. Smiling, she will rise and give to you her kiss. So must ye come as children. Little children that believe nor ever doubt her beauty and her faith, nor deem her tenderness and change or die. the water and we'll have enhanced video of this later and uh, let's see if you can pick up all the different occultic meanings uh, in the speeches you're about to hear
year after year, he earned me this room. Lifting your puny shouts of triumph to the stars. But when again, he turned your faces to the marketplace. Do ye not find me waiting as a whole?
and all the winds make merry with thy dust. Hail, fellowship's eternal flame. Once again, midsummer sets us free. <laughs> to get into some enhanced video and we'll go play by play through some of the more occultic statements like we shall read the sign in your burned effigy the bound body that's exactly what the druids actually did they would roast cats uh, goats oxen horses and watch the pain of how they died and from this extract some type of mystical energy force or power and also be able to tell the future all of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Upon further research of the ritual you've just witnessed, it becomes clear. It is a mixture of the Babylonian Canaanite cult of Moloch, fused with ancient druidic rites where you have the female side of Satan, which they first call out to in the she, and then towards the horned god with the he, mixed with Masonic rites from Scotland. It's very likely that many of the 1,500 to 2,000 member crowd had really no idea what they were actually watching because it was thinly veiled. Here we have some more enhanced video as the boatman, again with his face painted up like a skull, pulls his boat uh, across the small lake towards the high priest with the red of his cloak visible with his hand outstretched as if he is pulling the damned soul towards him as they throw off their cares, their conscience for what they have to do in the world. Also you have the arrangement of the circle of higher level priests around him, the high priest in lighter colors, and then the outer rooms of red, and then those in black. Uh, this is consistent uh, with the darker workings of the occult, not just with the western uh, countries, but also worldwide. Now when you see that black edge coming to the field, that's because we zoomed in on the video and many times the picture was almost out of the screen, so that's the edge of the field or the view of the camera. get back to more enhanced video of the ritual here in just a minute but remember PJ the little demon down in the corner the left hand corner of the program sweeping up the ashes with little horns and how can you forget this the image of a human body burning on the altar again this is what they were handing out to those that were witnessing 
uh, these macabre activities. But again, from Babylon on into ancient England, the word bone fire, meaning human sacrifices being thrown into fiery pits, turned into today's bond fire. After the sacrifice, members of the cult would sweep up the ashes of the victim and use them in future rituals. One of the things that is extremely obvious by looking at the program handed out to Bohemian Club members is the person creating the program had a deep understanding of the occult. see the funeral pyre burning uh, with the effigy of a human or it could be real ladies and gentlemen uh, there's been a lot of strange going on in that area of northern california but this is what the establishment is into uh, right here in america the cremation of care and this was july 15th 2000 
these people are deadly serious. Those taking part in the ceremony. Another point, the pyrotechnics you're seeing going off uh, were being released from beneath little rod iron crosses about a foot and a half tall. Also, notice the screams of pain coming uh, from the sacrifice. the facets of the ritual that goes deeply into the occult. Again, we've already mentioned the druids at their bone fires or bonfires throwing, throwing bodies into fiery pits after ritually cutting their hearts out or slitting their throats. They talk about reading the sign in the burning effigy, reading the sign. And research your history books on the occult, even the Encyclopedia Britannica, on what the Druids would engage in. Uh, this is just unbelievably macabre and evil. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign. Well, we're going to confront George Bush. On Bohemian Grove, George Bush Jr. They've been announcing on CNN, MSNBC, on television last night and today. For the first time in history, they're admitting it. Why the vice presidential decision was made at Bohemian Grove. George Bush Sr., the former president, and Golden Powell and others. So now they're just throwing it in everybody's face. Uh, we've broken the story over a week ago. July 15th, we were in Northern California. They're trying to ignore it. George Bush is down here at the uh, governor's mansion across the street from the Capitol about to announce Dick Cheney uh, as his vice presidential running mate. We're going to go blow the party for him and get the information out to people. We're not going to stop. We're getting in their face. I want to make it clear that I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. But the facts speak for itself. George Bush Sr., Jr., even their grandfather, Prescott Bush, were all members of the Bohemian Club. So we dropped by to, well, let them know that we're fully aware of their activities. This is massive. This is how George Bush dresses up, right here. We got them on tape. This is how they dress up, right here, in red and black robes. A little more pointy, though, like the Klan. We've got them on tape. This is how George Bush dresses. Right here when he's in the Bohemian Grove. This is how he dresses. We've already put it on television. Absolutely disgusting. George Bush isn't a conservative. He's not for family values. He is nothing but a Luciferian twit. A Luciferian twit, Bush. He may be a on the human population. We say no to you. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Long live the Constitution and death to the New World Order. We stand firm. We stand strong for America against your evil, Bush. And we're going to get this story out, and we're going to continue to push it, because the truth will not be hit that you are part of a 3,000-plus-year-old devil cult for the Al Bowling from Babylon as well as Tyre. We have the high priest admitting all this. We have it on videotape. It is documented. It is documented. A Luciferian devil worshiper. Already people all over Austin 
are talking about it. We're not afraid of you. We're not afraid of your minions. But we're waking your minions up every day with the hardcore evidence. We know your father met 11 times with Bill Clinton in 91. The whole thing was stage managed. We understand you've been helping to sell this country out, boys. And we're going to expose you and your Luciferian rights. We have the video tape. This is a massive story. One of the stories of the century. One of the stories of the century. How you had the Luciferian Pope for 121 years in Northern California. I went inside for the cremation of care. I witnessed the entire debacle. Many of these Secret Service agents have been in. No doubt, protecting these people inside of this system. There, there had to be, in my belief, a, an occultist, a deep occultist, who designed each of the elements of this ceremony. It wasn't just a bunch of guys sit together at a bar and said, hey, let's have a good time, the cremation of care, uh, and why don't we do this or that. I believe it was purposely designed, each element in its turn, uh, for, for what they did. No doubt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. The facts we've shown in this film are absolutely documented. I would only hope that the people of the world realize the organized evil we're dealing with at almost every level. Republican, Democrat, you name it, they're all working on the same team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's called world government, the new world order, dehumanization. It's not a joke, it's deadly serious. Unfortunately, they've been breeding societies to think everything's a joke. I'm here to tell you truth is stranger than fiction.